Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube? So, uh, yeah, today's a very exciting day because I kind of dropped some hints on one of my other videos that I had some big things coming to the channel. Um, this thing, I mean, I'm not sure if it's going to be coming to the channel, but it's here, so it's coming to the channel, if that makes any kind of sense. But uh, I'll just get into it. Something special is in the box. Uh, not something that you can find everywhere, um, but unfortunately... It's not in working condition, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and do some, um, you know, restoration. But I want to go ahead and shoot this video for you guys, so you guys can go ahead and see me getting the uh, the box for the first time. I'll go ahead and put the uh, camera on the tripod, and I'll go ahead and get some footage of me actually opening up this box, and uh, we'll see what's inside. I'm really nervous. All right, YouTube. So if you guys are not aware, um, I do my music stuff in a in an extra bedroom, so that's why you see a bed here. But yep, uh, literally about five minutes ago, guys, this package came in the mail. Um, I just put my daughter down, literally um, right before this video. So I'm gonna try to do this as quiet as possible. So bear with me if I'm a, a little slow in the video. I'm sorry about that. doing this in the loudest way possible, so bear with me guys. Pretty sure I didn't even know if I hear something about my noise, but we're doing the best we can here guys. Definitely uh, did a good job with the wrapping. I'm gonna have to hit it with the shank. Not to do any damage to what's inside. Shape guys, but I think we're going to be able to bring her back to life. I hope she's in real rough shape. I sent some bar that's supposed to be going in the inside of it. Important if you see support, is what it says. So you see that was taken out, that was put back in. anything else but I won't throw anything out until I go through this box because it's a mess but <clears throat> here it is man what a shame what somebody would do to 
the machine. So here we are, guys. So what you're looking at is going to be an Akai MPC 60 in very, very, very awful shape and a uh, really, really bad shape, poor shape. So the goal is, can we bring it back to life? I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and see what this thing is all about. From what I was told, uh, it's missing the screws to the case. So I'm sure the case will just come right off. So we're going to take that off right now, see what's in the inside. Um, from what I was told from the seller is that the screen lights up, just nothing but blue. It doesn't show any text on here. Um, it's supposed to be a new screen. Um, so we'll figure it out and, uh, I'll bring you guys along for the ride. But here's one surprise for the channel guys. This is going to be an Akai MPK 62. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that we can bring this bad boy back to life. If we can't get this ugly crap off of it safely without destroying these letters um which are here then uh we'll have to uh do a custom paint job maybe send it to bruce for who knows um or maybe i'll just paint it myself and just figure out a way to get that top plate screen printed somehow so all right guys this is gonna wrap up this video you guys have a good one all right guys i'm back in front of this uh <laughs> beast of an ugly thing but uh all right i just plugged in uh some power and i'll show you guys what it does so, so good thing is that it's supposed to be a new screen and it's nice and bright as if you guys know about the NBC 60s or not. So the guy says that he changed out the screen. It worked. Then he went to take the screen out to see if it would work inside of his Akai S3000. It didn't. He put it back in here. He forgot to connect the ribbon correctly and something shorted out. He said it burnt out. Um, so I'm thinking some kind of a resistor or something soldered incorrectly. It could even be this contrast knob could no longer be working anymore, um, because it doesn't seem to be changing anything. So it can be a factor of things. I do have a uh, buddy, um, here in, in town that is a technician professionally. So he's going to be taking a look at the, uh, 60 and we're going to try to bring it back to life. Uh, right now, guys, I'm actually about to run off to, um, the family dollar that's literally just in the corner of my house. I was told if you actually rub easy off oven cleaner on things like this, that it actually would remove the paint. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm hoping that I can go ahead and get this restored guys, but, uh, we'll see. I mean, I'm going to take out the case. I'm going to take off every single button. So every button will be rewhitened. I'm not worried about the buttons. Those will all come back to life. I'll bring the buttons back. These have, um, you know, no letters on them. I'll try to get these back into life. I'm not really too worried about them as long as they pretty much function. Function. Oh, okay, you see the record button. So, good thing is that the ROM's working. We know it's booted because um, if it didn't boot with this uh, memory chip. So he sent me the original Akai ROMs, and then he said he just upgraded the memory in here too. So that's another thing I'm gonna do right now, guys. I'm actually going gonna go ahead and remove the chips that are in here which are some third party cheap generic chips and um that and uh, i want to say the third party cheap generic chips i mean the operating system is cool don't get me wrong it's the 3.10 it's what turns this into the mpc 3000 operating system um but it could come from a very unreliable source and the chips themselves could be cheap so um, i'm gonna go ahead and just put the original akai ones back in here to see if i have any kind of success but um, I'm going to be taking this to a shop here in Tucson, Arizona, um, and they're going to be working on it and taking a look at it. So I'll bring you guys along for the ride when it comes to that, too. And uh, I'm really hoping that I can bring this back. I'm not I'm not too worried about the body. Um, I can get the body repainted. In fact, uh, George, what's up, bro? If you're watching, uh, my friend's a real professional car painter. I'm going to ask him if he might be able to spray this down for me. If not, I'll take, it, I'll take a crack at it myself. I mean, it's just plastic, guys. I mean, I'll be able to paint the white part if I could take off this hex plate. Can I just take this plate off and send this out to Foride or somebody? And, you know, would he charge me maybe, you know, four or five hundred bucks to put the, the lettering back on it? Or could I find a place that can do that for me? Let me know if you guys know of any company that would do that. Or is there anybody here locally? Um, I do know the the people who are going to be, whoa, I just realized that right now. Look at this. It's not even connected. Um, I do realize, I do know that there are some people out there like Ghost and MPC um, and stuff like that are in different countries that do customization if i gotta send out this plate i don't mind it can't be that expensive it's just gonna be the, the top plate of it so anyways i'll be back with some more footage all right guys so i opened this thing up it's in, it's in pretty bad shape so uh let me see if i can show you guys a little bit here 
on a car saw. Has this, uh, the new 315 ROM, which it seems to be working because when I turn on the MPC, we have stop, power, play, record. Here's where I think our issue's at, guys. I think it's going to be right there. I think it's a horrible soldering job that was done to this contrast knob, which might be affecting that display. Um, for Christ's sakes, man, there's not even black tape on some of these connections. It's a classic clear scotch tape. Not even scotch tape, but literally like office tape. So, um, yeah, I got to get this NPC off to my buddy in the shop. Um, I'm going to have him clean up the boards, get everything nice and clean. It's, it's pretty grimy in here. Um, he might be picking up the EPS, so I'll probably give him a good deal if he can uh, get this thing back to life, kind of clean up some of the circuitry and, uh, and we'll rock this bad boy instead of that for the low grimy sound because we still have the... Uh, EPS 16. So, all right, guys, I'll be back. All right, YouTube. So, uh, I'm making some progress, as you can see, getting some of it out. Um, down here, there is some rust. So, I'm thinking that's the reason why he started painting the thing. I think it started to rust out. The thing did come from Detroit. So, I'm not too surprised, even just things being in the air and the atmosphere is just moisture. So, I'm not too surprised. I think it started rusting out, especially in the areas where his hands are resting or people's hands are resting. Um, so I think because of that kind of just encouraged the wanting to paint the thing. So, um, if I can restore the middle, that's fantastic. Um, and then what I would do would probably be kind of weird, but I'd probably just put a real thick border across this whole entire thing. Real thick, solid border that goes all across this here to kind of cover up that imperfection. And if I can preserve the middle, then I'd be pretty happy. And then I actually take off this case and I actually repaint it white uh to make it nicer and maybe even put the white pads on it to really just pin it out we'll see i'll be back yeah two packages came on the same day so i guess we're right back at it guys let's try to get this box open without waking my daughter and without the lady of the house killing me all right one side there Sorry for the shakiness, guys. I'm doing this with my hands and one-handed here. All right, so let's... What's in the box? What's in the box? Well, of course, it would be upside down, guys. This is a Nakai MPC 2000 XL. Got this for a pretty good deal. If you guys can actually tell on the screen, it's burnt. So in the auction, when it was being showed off, it just looked like I had a big old burn screen. But being experienced with these MPCs, I understand that the lens itself gets burnt. That means that this MPC was on a lot for a very long time to the point where burned the image into the plastic so i've already ordered the new plastic i've already ordered the wheel those will be here in a couple of days but all right guys surprise got a couple of new toys that we could play with on the channel npc 62 already opened it up a little bit this needs to be resoldered this needs to be resoldered there's a connection here the guy added a light it's pretty cool i guess but um he added a light when you turn on the npc you have an LED light illuminating out of here kind of gives some some lightage. I'm gonna take that out. It's cool. Um, this one here, uh, so far from what I know, just needs a wheel screen replacement. Um, yeah, it looks a little protruded here. I'll see if I can get that straightened out once I get this case off. Um, first impressions. Everything seems to be clicking and working. I was a little nervous about these knobs. They they looked uh real loose in the pictures but i'm really glad that they seem to be working just fine they are a little bit pressed in i'll probably order some new ones six bucks to replace those uh you can tell on the case it's not placed on the best you can see a little bit of crackage there so i'm gonna go ahead and take this case off anyhow when i gotta do the screen and uh i'll get this place back on here but all right guys 
there it is a surprise uh two npcs uh coming to the channel so what does that mean guys that means that we have the eps might be selling that to the guy who will be fixing this don't really want to but i just might be doing it because a i want to build a relationship with the guy he's awesome for what he's able to do and be um you know as a thank you for being able to get this thing going again um and then i can use the money from that to put into this because um i do want to put the scuzzy in here which i found on ebay for about 175 with the scuzzy 2 sd um and then i might need some money to get this thing repainted guys i'm actually really thinking of dropping the 700 bucks at four at um i'm not going to tell you guys what i paid for this npc um but if you guys actually go to reverb.com and go to ebay you'll see these things are worth about three grand in good condition um let's just say i didn't pay anywhere near that and never will i um but i do feel like even if i put 700 bucks in this machine and give it a brand spanking new paint job um i'm still doing very very well i'm still very 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 much in the green and i mean very 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 much in the green so I, I would, it wouldn't really hurt me too much and i think that it would just make this thing amazing obviously i wouldn't get it painted to be original i would probably deck it out make it murdered out i'd probably paint it you know like a dual black scheme with black pads and, and just trick it the hell out and it would really just be something worth even maybe more so i can probably turn this into a four thousand dollar machine with a small seven hundred dollar investment not too sure what i'm going to do there my plans for this one was to black out the pads, black out everything, um, but I might have this one sold. I'm not exactly sure. I got a lot of toys, guys. If you guys can see, I got the 62, the MPC, the XL. I got the one. I got the EPS. That's not mine, but I still have it. It's here. I got the command station. I got a lot of things to play with, but at the end of the day, if I really wanted to, I can be having an MPC X sitting on my desk right here, um, a brand new Korg triton or phantom or whatever huge um, uh, motif whatever's big as a keyboard there and be done with it but as you guys can tell i like vintage and old school and i just feel like these are collector's items and um i want to get my hands on them while i can i do feel like this machine is going to be just like the s p 1200 where this is going to be pretty soon a six seven ten thousand dollar drum machine very hard to get your hands on these are starting to come up in value. These are historical pieces. We all know that. Not many people really know about the EPS. It's a shame. Um, might be selling that one. Not exactly sure, but it's a shame that not many people really rep the EPS as much as they, shan they, can they should because it is the OG ASR-10. But I also have the EPS-16+. Plus, don't plan on selling it unless I come across an ASR-10 that's going to replace it. That's the only way I'm going to get rid of that EPS-16. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. You guys were actually able to see both surprises come at the same time. Just luckily, I've seen UPS coming up as I was shooting the footage for the 60. Peace out.